Where are the Franks German or French? Theoretically, we only have to figure out where and when the Franks originated. And then we have the answer, right? Oh look, there they are. They formed in the 3rd century AD as a collection of tribes on the east side of the Lower Rhine, which means Germania, which means a Germanic language, which means German. Case closed. We are done here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. We're not in Nazi Germany, where we have to pretend that there is an actual link between the ancient Germans and modern Germans. So what now? I guess we have to follow the history of the Franks for a little bit until we find an actual good answer. So come along, let's go! In the 4th century, different Frankish tribes moved at different times across the Rhine into different regions of Gaul, where they sometimes were the friends and sometimes the enemies of the Romans. In the 5th century though, the Western Roman Empire said goodbye forever. Ok, don't be too sad though. There is a new empire just on the rise. The Frankish Empire, our Frankish Empire governed by the Merovingians, like Clovis, Clovis the first to be accurate. And he united all Frankish tribes, became Christian and expanded the Frankish territory over this entire region you can see here, that is until his death in 511. So the Merovingian dynasty was basically ruling over areas of today's Germany and France, came originally from Germania, spoke a proto-Dutch language, but decided mostly in today's France, if the empire was split up of course, which it was for most of its time and they governed it in a very Roman influenced fashion. So yeah, this um, doesn't give us a really clear answer, so better move on. The Merovingians ruled until 751, when their former secretaries, the Carolingians, took over and became the new dynasty of the Frankish kings. Fun fact, an important symbol of the Merovingians was their long hair. So when the Carolingians disposed of the last one of them, they also cut his hair short as a sign of humiliation. That's kinda harsh though, no? But yeah, let's go back to the Carolingians. They, as you might already know, reached the height of their powers around the year 800, when they were ruled by the world famous Charlemagne, or as the Germans call him, Karl den Großen. Both countries, Germany and France, portrayed him throughout their histories on and off as the father of their respective country. But where did he really belong to? Let's take a look. Emperor Charlemagne, who conquered territories from Spain to the Balkans, resided at his newly built palace in Aachen, which is in today's Germany, but as you can see, only barely. What language did he speak? I think it's a good time to take a step back and look at the linguistic situation of his empire. When the Franks came into Gaul during the 5th century, people there were heavily Romanized and spoke vulgar Latin. After the arrival of the Franks, Latin still remained reigning supreme, but many words of the Frankish language have been adopted, laying the groundwork of modern day French. How is it looking in the East? Yeah, there in the German territories, many different languages and dialects existed. And as the Franks expanded into the area, their language didn't have as huge an impact on them. Interestingly though, around the 3rd to the 5th century, the high German consonant shift took place in southern West Germany. This shift ultimately led to the creation of Old High German during the time of Charlemagne, it is, which was the precursor of modern day German. So now, what language did Charlemagne speak of the both? The answer is. Neither. Instead, he spoke, still like the Merovingians, Old Dutch, also called Old West Low Franconian, but that is way too long. This language never made the consonant shift, so it was clearly not early German nor early French. Charlemagne was even aware of the differences in his empire, and on his mission to reform basically everything, he ordered that the priests should preach in their local languages. Ultimately, I do have to disappoint you, my friend. Charlemagne was not German, nor French, and neither his predecessors or successors. They were Frankish, rulers of an ethnically and culturally diverse empire. To look back in time in this anachronistic fashion is an absolute no-go in the historic scientific community. But if you ask me when France and Germany started to develop separately into the unique countries they are today, I would say it was probably after the end of the Frankish Carolingian dynasty, which was in France in the year 987, when the Capetian dynasty took over. And in Germany, it was in the year 919, when the Ottonian dynasty started. This was when both territories became truly separate, but even back then, they were far away from becoming Germany and France like we know them today. For this, it took constant change and development throughout the entirety of the Middle Ages and the modern era, especially the very formative years of nationalism and patriotism during the 19th century. So that's my short form answer on if the Franks were German or French. They were neither, they were Frankish. That's all for me, goodbye, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a great time.